How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Yamoja. And we're up against another soul. Like I said in my last video, uh, it seems like souls and old runs are everywhere now. Uh, but that's all right. We, we can beat them. We can beat them. We just got to believe. Ooh, that is a diamond soul with hiding their worshippers. Ooh. How will I ever know how many worshippers she has when she's using a diamond skin? Uh, I'm going to go Vampiric into Bancroft's. Actually, excuse me, into Chrono's Pennant uh, with Potions. And we are going to go a... Uh, we'll go Aegis. And we need to leave immediately. The I, I like this map overall. Oh, I have a, cu a couple things to talk about. First of all, new patch notes. Awesome. They're bringing the Season what three joust map back the one that was in the sky that map was very fun to play on uh i really like this map personally but i know a lot of people hate it so it's only fair that uh you know we sw it's only fair we swap to something that everybody enjoys once again if you go start at my red buff i'm gonna kill you please stop starting at my red buff never mind maybe she's gonna kill me Oh god. The mannequins! I'm dead. No! Sad. I was doing so good too, and then I, I, the mannequins was doing so much damage. But yeah, the, the new map is awesome. Uh, happy to have it back. And I know people don't like this map, even though I do enjoy it. Um, but hey, might as well switch to a map that everybody enjoys, or at least the majority of everybody. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Carib, this looks hype. I'm super happy to. See Charybdis joining the battleground. Uh, I think it'll be cool. She may not be quite a whirlpool, but I think it's cool to have Silla's design as well. Just generally excited for the direction of the game. Not only that, but I will be announcing now on YouTube that I am hosting a tournament at the end of the month on of August. Uh, there will be more information in the description if you wish to join. Uh, all you got to do is also is join my Discord, and there is a channel called Tournament Info, and all the information is there. Uh, all you gotta do is either be sub to the Twitch or be following up the Twitch for a while. And the reason for that is to prevent, uh, just to kind of keep it within the community, I guess, because it's meant to be a community tournament. And generally, if I don't have a requirement, uh, then some people that like will only join for the tournament and then I will never hear of them again uh, coming. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Don't die. Okay. Ooh. Thank goodness she can't shoot through my ultimate. Can I just say how funny it was at the start when I said I could kill her? <laughs> I was going to kill her at my red buff, and she was at, like, 10% health. And I was at, like, 75% health, and she killed me. I also got to talk about that. That was funny. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, but, yeah, tournament info uh, will be in the description and all that good stuff. I'm also hoping to make a Guardian tier list uh, within this week. So look forward to that. I have a lot of things planned. I also have a cool Kepri video that I'm super, super excited about. Um, yeah, I, I I can't say too much about it. But when it comes out, I hope you guys watch it. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a very fun project to work on. It'll be, it'll be different than the rest of my videos I've posted. But it is a project I've had in the works. Yeah, I had an idea for it like a year and a half ago but i only like actually started making a reality about four months ago oh no she went backwards and now i'm dead oh my god dude my aegis was almost up <laughs> she just stopped attacking me because she's like all right all right i'm not dealing with these jukes <laughs> she just stopped attacking me. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I really need to get this Kronos pet online. It's super important on Yamoja because it helps with the Omi regen like so much. Yeah, she tried going straight for my tower there, but we were able to cut her off and kill her. 28 health. This game is actually neck and neck. Two and two. Love to see close games. 
And now I'm about to get my Cross Pennant soon, which is amazing. I'm assuming there's red buffs down, right? Pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it is not. Okay, sad. Titan's Fang. All right. We now will go into a Pestilence, I think. Or a Genji's. Genji's is really good on a Yemoji as well. Because a lot of times, Genji's on other gods give one ability on cooldown and then the passive procs. It's like, man, I kind of wasted that. But on Yemoji, I mean, you get the Omi, which is like perfect for all of her abilities. Oh my goodness. Was that worth it, Soul? Was that worth it to get my 28 health tower for your life? I hope it was. All right, and we get red buff. Perfection. Oh, I didn't pull it. Yeah, we're playing Emoja because I've been getting some comments for some Emoja. You know what? Emoja, Emoja is one of the gods that I don't really, you know, they don't really come to mind. I don't play Emoja very often. Not a huge fan of Emoja, but I mean, she, she, she can be pretty fun. She's pretty cool. I, I like playing her a lot more when she came out, but then I stopped playing her entirely. But as you can see, I mean, we're not, you know, we're not doing crazy well, but we're not doing bad either. I just highly recommend getting the Chrome's Pen ASAP. Might even want us to start Sounds of Time to get better uh, cooldown early on. However, uh, the MP5 doesn't really help you from Sands of Time. We do not want to fight here. We're going to basically walk past her after we slow her. We might need to... Yeah, I'm ulting here. I'm not dying to this. The tide calls. Did I just lose Omi there? Did you guys see my mana bar? I had enough Omi to use my three again, and then I lost the Omi. What was that about? Did I miss see that? Yeah, I'm actually going to go Genji's after all. Um, that way we have max cooldown late game with Power Potion. And also, I could just go Divine Rune. All right, she's going Typhon's Bancrofts, the Lifesteal Dream. Uh, yeah, we need to get Divine Rune very, 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 very soon. If she does get any more healing than that, I might even go with Toxic Blade. It's super weird, but because Yuboja's range, it actually can work. I've beaten uh, Hells with an auto attack Yuboja build, and I actually think I would have lost had I not gotten an auto, auto attack Yuboja because of the Toxic Blade. But we'll see. Right now, I'm just going to stick with my, my ability build. All right, she is ignoring me. That's fine. I guess she's going for the buffs that are not there. I also have a question for you guys. I have a question, and my question is, how long have you been playing Smite? Because I'm trying to get a general idea of how like, well my, my viewer base like, knows Smite, right? And... I've been playing since 2012, right? I'm a very old Smite player. <laughs> I'm, I'm 22 years old. I've been playing this game for, what, nine years now? Oh, that's scary. Um, but yeah. But I'm wondering if, like, uh, I think there's a lot of players that are completely new to Smite. And I think uh, I'm wondering if that is the case with some of my viewers because I would love to have more informative videos, you know what I mean, that could help them out. So either way, I'm, that's something I'm thinking about doing. Like some short guides. I've always said I'm gonna make a humor guide, and I never make a humor guide. But I think for the first time, I actually have plans to do so, and will commit to it. Won't be flaky on it. Oh, we're gonna kill her. Perfect. Perfection. I actually panicked there because my shell wasn't going off. I was pressing F, and F is my first relic slot. And I was like, why is my shell not going off in my head? But uh, it's just because it's my second relic. The tide calls. Oh, one good thing about Yumoja is if you get a kill, you can always use your three to bring the minions to the objective. Uh, only a few gods can do that. Those gods include Hebo, Yumoja, uh, Horus. There's quite a few more, but uh, it's actually very strong about them. Because, I mean, I've, as you guys have seen in some of my videos, I get eight kills, but I can't actually take anything because I don't have minions. With Yumoja, if you remember, which... I didn't really remember until the end there. 
Uh, yeah, you can just bring the minion wave to the phoenix, which is like awesome. Oh, I like this one. All right, good stuff. Also, uh, our two on your mode is pretty bad. Uh, we do not use it in duel. It does very little damage. It costs three Omi, which is just worse than our one. It's only good against shields because it does bonus damage to shields. And we are not up against a god with a shell or a shield. So that's why we're only leveling it up uh, now. And even then, I, I don't even think I'm going to use it. Damn, she's kind of dodging my stuff now. I don't think we can fight until we finish this Divine Ruin, which we are about to. Yeah, no, she's trying to she's trying to take my objective, and I will not allow her to do so. Did she just used beats. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did. Oh no, there's her beads. It's so hard to tell on Soul because it always looks like she's using beads, kind of. Oh, there's her Aegis. Uh oh. Ah, we'll just be right back. One fun thing you can do as emojis, you can use your three to push them into your Phoenix too. But I mean, based on her healing, that wouldn't have done anything. Eh, she can't take that. Okay, wait, never mind. Oh my god, <laughs> never mind. I thought her mini wave was farther away. That's <laughs> so funny, also. But again, if I stayed there, I would have died. I'd much rather lose Phoenix there than die and lose the game. So it's not like I made the wrong decision. I just didn't realize her video wave was so close. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Yeah, no, she's healing too much. Uh, Pestilence wouldn't even do that much because her healing is just like kind of at the edge of my range. I still think the Ganges was a better idea. However... I am contemplating a Toxic Blade. Doesn't give power, but just the that way we have 80% anti-heal. Anti-heal does stack and smite. And that pretty big that negates her build. I don't mind spending an extra item slot when it means it negates her build like entirely. Especially if she gets another lifestyle item, like Hikate or something. She doesn't even have defense. Which is why I'm kind of amazed at how little damage she takes. Oh, I missed! She's healing too much because I can't apply Divine Rune. Oh my goodness, dude. I can't apply Divine. Ah. That little bit of healing she got without my Divine applied just sucked. Also, this Toxic Blade can help us just run out of her abilities. Mobility is never a bad thing. All right, let's keep going this way. She took that a while back. I think she took right red buff and recalled, but she took this one a while back too. Ah, we're in a bad spot here. We are in a bad spot. I really don't want to fight her until I get my Toxic Blade online. 200 more gold is necessary. Uh, getting this blue buff could help us out. Give us the extra 10% cooldown we need right now. For the Omi regen. Now we regen Omi as fast as we possibly can. Uh, which is of course very good. Okay, I don't need to worry about the back door right now because I can see her. Otherwise I would not be pushed up this far. Missed that. That's okay. 
Apply the Divine Ruin. Juke. We're good, we're good. Uh, we can get Toxic Blade now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, this is a lot of minion wave. Minions, what the hell? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I've misplayed there pretty hard. Sometimes it do be like that. But, I was able to get her. Hey. Yeah, that was terrible positioning. But, if this Phoenix lives... Please don't die, Phoenix. If this Phoenix lives, it's all worth it. 100%. Because our Titan heals. Every second that Phoenix is up, my Titan is healing. And that was so worth it. That was actually as good as it could have gone. If I lost Phoenix there, uh, it might as well have been GG. But because I didn't, it's not GG. Uh, we are going to take this tower. I can't take Phoenix. That's okay. But can I take this red? I won't be able to pick it up. But just to keep it away from her would be really nice. No, she's coming. Well, maybe it's worth poking her here. Even if I don't kill her. Let's wait until her three's over. I need to be careful of her ultimate. Plus, she's healing because I can't apply Toxic Blade to her right now. There we go. It's applied. No! Wait! Oh, that's not going to kill. She doesn't have enough health to take it. She has to wait for the minion wave, but I'm pretty sure that's game. No. I should have recalled when I was at the red buff. That's all right. You live and learn, right? Overall, close game. Five and three. Uh, don't actually feel terrible about that. Uh, pretty, pretty even game. I did lose because I made a mistake, which, hey, I'm always okay with that when it comes to duel. If I lose and the game was fair, it's all right. Oh, you gonna, you gonna end there? She give me one more fight. One more fight, hey. Honestly, really nice of her. If she's giving me one more fight, she doesn't have to do that. But hey, I'll take it. All right, let's get some boards up. Let's give her. Let's get get. Let's get this last fight, and hopefully it's good. Um. Ooh, I don't really. Spear the mages, perhaps. Spear the mages isn't a terrible idea. It's kind of weird on Yamoja, but I think it can work in this position. We have our starter item now for the extra healing. If I cannot find you, Agame will. Yeah, it's kind of nice of her to give the, the extra fight. If that's what she's doing, I mean, I don't really know. If we kill her, we'll give her the extra fight as well, and then we'll see what happens. Make sure I'm making sure to apply Toxic Blade. Okay, that's her everything. I might be dead. Dodge that. I can't hit her. Oh my god. Why am I not healing enough? Yeah, it's, I mean, if for her to go that way, that's honestly completely understandable. It's on me to try to get uh, keep her from my Titan, right? That's what I'm supposed to be doing is defending. Just because she gave me that one fight doesn't mean that she's not going to end. I don't really have anywhere to go, though. That's game. I'll take that. Yeah, no. Uh, basically, when I got backed up here... If I just went and recalled, she would have just went and ended. I mean, I know she didn't end earlier, but, uh, you know, uh, the, it's on me to de be defending it because of the positioning. I couldn't really do that. Otherwise, I would have died. So, yeah, no, uh, that, was, that was great. Uh, really happy that Soul gave me that last fight. I feel like it was a good game.
Um, I wish I could have done better with that opportunity to get one more fight, but I mean, hey, really cool of the soul to do that. GG well played, thanks for the... Oh, trash? Oh, I was gonna say... <laughs> thanks. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. I was good. I thought they were being nice and giving me the opportunity to do one more, one more fight for the, <laughs> for the opportunity of one more fight, and they were actually just doing it to be BM, dude. Oh, that's funny. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, no, I, that soul was being BM. They weren't doing it to be nice. Never mind. Now, if they were like leaving my Titan at one HP, and then they killed the Titan, right? That's BM, but actually just leaving it. Yeah, I could have had one more fight and won. But uh, anyways, here's the stats. Uh, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys later. That's kind of funny.